All right, to get us started with Justin, we'll go to Chip Towers and then Mark Weiser. Yeah, Justin, it, it was uh, not hard to see the troubles in the run game uh, this past Saturday. Uh, obviously, Mississippi State was absolutely selling out to do that. But uh, uh, what was y'all's takeaway? I mean, what's the Matt Luke talk in the room afterward about you know what has to what what has to be done different. Kind of where was the the breakdown there? I mean, coming in, we knew they had a good defensive front, and we had and we had to prepare for them very good. I mean, we just got to put it on ourselves as an offensive lineman that we got to just step up and be the team that we got to be. I mean, in your opinion, was it what they were doing or how they were doing it? You know, what I'm saying like he. You know, were you, were there, was there confusion on which guy you ought to be blocking or was the guy you were trying to block just doing a good job, right? It wasn't how they were doing it. It was what they were doing up front, like with all the twisting and moving. I mean, I feel like we should have prepared for it better. But, I mean, that's, we, uh, that's a win. We got to put that game behind us and just get ready for this week. Thank you. Justin, was that, um, you know, how would you describe kind of the, the mood – uh, obviously happy with the win, but but to have the, the number of rushing yards you did, did you see a lot of yards out there that, that you guys could have gotten, uh, you know, if things uh, were different in terms of getting more push? Yeah, after watching the tape by myself, I feel like it's a lot we left out there that we got to watch the tape today and clean up as a team, as an offensive line. What does what South Carolina's defensive front, you know, look like in terms of can they present similar problems uh, to you guys? I mean, I haven't looked at them yet, but like previously looking at different games, they got a solid front. Next up, Mike Griffith and Seth Emerson. Yeah, Justin, you had a you had a neck injury last year. And I, I I meant to ask you this earlier, but how how scary of an injury was that? Can you just talk about just the comeback from that and where you're at right now compared to where you were a year ago dealing with that? Uh, I mean, it was very, it was very scary uh, going into the locker room, having that pain in my neck. It was just a whole lot of thoughts, wondering if I was gonna come back because a neck injury was like, is like a real, ser real serious injury, and like most people don't come back from a neck injury. Justin, uh, can you describe uh, JT Daniels' demeanor, um, just both on the field and just anywhere else pregame practice? Like, what what kind of guy is he like? He's a guy. He's a guy who's just like who just gonna do everything right. He always just by himself. Every time I see him, he have his headphones in, just listen to the music. He on that. He he's a person who never has a problem in class, like on the field, off the field. He just does everything right as a person. Anthony Dasher and then Austin Roper. Hey Justin, good to see you, man. When did uh the rest of the team find out that JT was gonna get the start? I mean, we didn't find out till the day of because, like, during that week, all the quarterback was still rotating, and we didn't find out till like, that Saturday before the game. Is that kind of thing where you're kind of glad you didn't know or it doesn't matter? I mean, how does that kind of work? I mean, I'm glad I didn't know because it was, like, something we wouldn't have to worry about because we all just – we all rotated with each, each quarterback every week, so it was nothing new. Sure. Thanks, man. Hey, Justin. Um, so – Looking at the offense moving forward, obviously, you know, last Saturday we've already talked about the struggles running the ball. Where do you see the, I guess, the potential of the offense given the fact that JT had such an explosive game passing the ball, even without a good running game? I mean, where do you see kind of like this offense and go from here with JT at quarterback? I feel like the passing game with JT back right now is going to help us open up the run game more than what it has been because, like, you got to respect the pass and the run now with the quarterback that we have back there now. Next up, Palmer Toms and then Brandon Sudge. Yeah, Justin, given the fact that you you said that it wasn't necessarily how, uh, you know, Mississippi State's defensive line was playing, it was what they were doing. You know, how much do you expect defenses in the future to do similar things, uh, you know, stunt-wise and stuff like that? I mean, that's it just how football is. Like, if we see a team that has a weakness on defense, our coaches are going just to the week of that game. Like, most teams are going to just make that adjustment because they see that's, like, what we struggle with. But it's just our responsibility to get better at that. Hey, uh, Justin, kind of going back over um, to the offense, 
Um, so was there like a heightened level of excitement, I guess, when y'all are able to have those deep routes and able to connect on those and have the offense move a lot easier? Can you repeat that question again? Okay. So I was just saying, like, is there some heightened excitement, like, among the offense um, to when you're able to have those deep passes and all those expo- – and all those ex- explosives throughout the game? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's going to help our offense, like, as a whole, like, to just get everybody open, like, as a receiver and tight end and open up the run game. All right, we've got a couple more minutes. We'll open it up for the last two questions. Hey, Justin, you being an Atlanta guy, and traditionally this is when Georgia has played Georgia Tech, is it weird? How weird is it this year to not be playing them this weekend, or is it just with everything else going on in the world, you understand it's a casualty and you're just really focused on South Carolina? I mean, it's just a, diff- it's a different feeling, but I'm focused on South Carolina. I mean, I'm just able that we had a season due to, like, the whole pandemic situation. 